The clove hitch is used to attach a rope to an object. This is the version where we do not have an open end to pass the clove hitch over, so we have to tie the knot in place onto the object. Specific applications, uh, this is where I would use the clove hitch to tie a rope to my roof racks. If I'm going to tie a canoe or something on my roof racks, this would be my starting knot to uh, attach the rope to the roof racks. Benefit of the clove hitch, a very secure knot. So, I have my object here. I'm going to start by passing the rope over the object and back on the right hand side of the standing part of the rope. So the working part of the rope is on the right hand side of the standing part of the rope. I'm going to cross the standing part of the rope as I go to the far side of the object again and I'm going to come up with this working end now on the left side of the standing part of the rope and I'm going to pass it underneath the single strand, the uh, diagonal cross piece, and then tighten. So, what I have, I have two parallel lines. One has the rope drawing off in one direction, one has the rope drawing off in the opposite direction, and then I have a diagonal cross piece trapping both in place. So let's tie that again. Once again, the rope goes to the far side of the object, comes back on the right side of the standing part of your rope. Crosses over both the standing part of the rope and the object to the far side of the object again. Comes up on the left hand side now of the standing part of the rope and then passes under the single strand of rope only, that being the diagonal cross piece. Set it in place, tighten it, and there you have the clove hitch. Two parallel lines, rope goes one way, rope comes the other, diagonal cross piece trapping them both in place. So let's do that one more time. The rope goes over, up on the right hand side, over, up on the left hand side, under. And there you have the, close, the clove hitch on a closed ended object.